Hey, good morning, and God has blessed us this morning with some amazing snow cover, which is absolutely beautiful. And I want to share out here from God's Word this morning, and it's some verses that kind of gave me some encouragement from the book of Revelation. And it says in Revelation chapter 9, verses 7 to 11, it says, The appearance of locusts was like horses equipped for battle. On their heads were something like gold crowns. Their faces were like men's faces. Verse 11, they had as their king the angel of the abyss. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek his name is Apollyon. And we also know from chapter 9, these locusts had, had, these locusts had tails like the stingers, of scorpions. See, the fifth trumpet shall sound, and these demonic locusts shall be released from the abyss, and their, their king as well, and their whole aim is to create torment upon the wicked. And the abyss is, is Jewish terms for where evil spirits are, are kept, uh, is where the dead are. Um, Abaddon means destroyer. Uh, Apollyon here means the, the, the same, and the Abaddon is a, here we, we're seeing is an evil destroying angel, and um, and this now what amazes me here and what encouraged me, uh, sorry it's just the horse in the background, uh, what amazes me is it's almost like. God just shows his power, how powerful he is. He's got Abaddon and these demonic angels there down in the abyss waiting to be released at a certain time. But also they are limited in their power. And, they, and in verse 4, they can't even destroy a blade of grass without God's, without God's permission. Um, they can't harm believers. They can't harm the grass or, or, or the trees or any green thing. And it's almost like God's just saying, nah, 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 nah. I'm more stronger than you. You know, I'm more powerful than you, if, if I can put it like that. And here we're seeing as well, it's the judgment upon the wicked. Um, uh, and they're getting what they deserve because they've done wrong. And some people say, oh, I don't like God's judgment. But you know, if someone broke into your house and um, say killed a member of your family or something, you'd want justice to be done. You would want that person to go to jail. You might even want them to suffer. And God's saying, you know, he's a God of justice and uh, Abaddon here is limited. Now the believers, the Christians, they cannot be harmed by Abaddon or Apollyon. Um, because they are sealed by the angels. The angels put a mark, if you like, or a seal on the believer's forehead so that they cannot be harmed. You see in Revelation 7 verse 3, the angel places a seal on the 144,000 for their protection. See, Apollyon will have no power over you and he can't even break a blade of grass without permission from the High King of Heaven. And in fact, Luke's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said, I give you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. We don't have to fear the sting that these locusts have, the sting of the scorpion, because it will not harm us. Christ has said that we go forth in the power and protection of the Lord Jesus Christ in the last days. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your protection. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for the beauty of creation. We thank you that by your grace, the enemy is restricted and can do nothing without permission from you on high on your throne. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and his face shine upon you this beautiful and glorious day. Amen.